So do you think that some people have just a more innate sense of toughness or resilience than other people? Or is this just something that it's a learned skill? Anybody can do it. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's a a learned skill. Anybody can do it. And actually, my work with runners and other athletes tells me that it's a learned skill. And the research backed that up as well. It's like anything. We can get better at it. Are some people more naturally in tune to it or does it come you know, easily? Sure. Absolutely. But all of us can get better because it's, it's no different than any other skill set in the sense that if you can learn to accept the pain or understand what, you know, the pain or discomfort or fatigue or various emotions that come with it, like the, the better you can understand that stuff, the better you can navigate and deal with it. So for sure, everybody from, you know, your weekend warrior to your uh, Olympic champion can work on this stuff. Yeah. Well, that's, that's some inspiring news for some people. Cause you know, there are some athletes that, you know, even that they're just going out for a track workout, you know, they got 400 meter repeats, whatever it is. And they just get so nervous and they have to hit that 400 and X amount of seconds. And they just, you know, get so caught up in their head that they, you know, sabotage their success. So, and then other people are just like, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to run a bunch of 400s and just whatever happens, happens. So like, what are some tools that we can use, you know, to kind of quell that anxiety? Yeah, that's a good question. Before I answer that, I want to, I want to like drive home this point because this was really fascinating. Um, in researching the book, I just started talking to first off a ton of high class, world class runners because that's like my mm-hmm. bread and butter. Right. And I just started asking this question, like what's going through your head? Like before a big race or what's going through your head in the middle of, you know, the Boston marathon when you're competing, you know, for the win. And inevitably, everybody had a story of saying like, oh, yeah, I wanted to find a hole to step in or like to find a curb to step on to like, you know, get me out of this experience. Every Mm -hmm. every single athlete, I'm talking, you know, American record holders, medalists, everybody I talked to all had their own quote unquote step in a hole moment where they (laughs) wanted to quit. So. Like to me, that's refreshing because it's a human thing. It's right. not. It's not that like these best athletes in the world, the ones winning mar- major marathons, don't experience this thing. They experience the same like doubt, fatigue, anxiety, insecurities that the rest of us do. So I think that's important because once once we see it as something that's like doesn't mean that you're weak or dysfunctional, and instead it's just something that we all experience. It becomes something that we can deal then deal with. Okay. And when we're when we're looking at anxiety, right? That that's part of it, right? Anxiety comes from from things that almost like we blow up to mean or blow up to be more important or more meaningful or more real than they actually are. Mm-hmm. And so anxiety is just our brain saying, like, "Hey, you're about to do something that's that's really difficult." And might be in public and might, you know, uh, put you in a situation where you, quote unquote, might fail. So our brain's going to tell you to freak out so that, like, you're protecting yourselves. Right. So a lot of it is like dealing with that rea- that reality. You know, I talked to a, a, a good friend who was a finalist at the Olympic trials. And I said, what were you doing you know, leading up to that race, it was track trials. What were you doing? Like when you're about to get on the starting line and she was like, Oh, I I was freaking out. (laughs) Okay. Like, how'd you deal with that? Said, well, you know, I sat there and reminded myself that, yeah, this might seem like a big deal, but it's not life and death. And, and in reality, I'm running around in circles around a track that (laughs) like in a sport that, yeah, it's popular, but like, if I make it or if I don't and I get dead last, like the only people who are, who are really going to care are me and my coach and my parents at home. Right. Right. And, and, and I think sometimes like one of the best ways to deal with anxiety is to frame it correctly so that you understand, OK, this isn't life or death. My my mind, my brain thinks that I'm on the savanna getting hunted by a lion, but it's not a lion. <laughs> 
Like I'm right. going, I'm going to be okay. 